。加州一年内经历了十几条大气河流，影响无数社区。预计明年发生强烈声音现象的可能性高达百分之八十。对此，少数族裔媒体中心联合加州紧急服务办公室等单位联合举办了一场简报会，提醒民众应对风暴季节的安全准备。声音现象是一种气候模式，发生期间沿赤道吹拂的东风减弱，温暖海水流向东太平洋。导致海洋表面温度上升，进而影响全球气候，引发异常天气状况。日前，少数族裔媒体组织与加州预备组织、加州非裔媒体等单位在州长紧急服务办公室举办了一场风暴季节安全的媒体简报会。加州州长应急服务办公室危机沟通与公共事务助理主任戴安娜表示，在极端天气来临之前，地方政府、州政府等扮演关键角色。需确保基础设施畅通无阻，同时制定明确的避险规则。媒体的责任在于将相关信息传达至政府难以触及的角落。居民则需订阅预警系统，制定家庭应急计划，为即将到来的极端天气做好准备。But I'm here to basically tell you, uh, weather is an ever-evolving issue. What we know for sure is we're entering colder, wetter months. But earlier this year, we experienced some really significant flooding, rain, and snow、uh, due to multiple atmospheric rivers. These storms really impacted almost every single part of our state and our communities as well. Ensuring that you and your family stay safe, we have some very basic,、um, you know, tips for you to follow and to. You know, let all of your audiences know as well. But number one, sign up for alerts. Go to listoscalifornia.org/alerts, and those are local emergency alerts、um, that are specific to your city or your county or your region. And so, if there is flooding, if there is significant snow or high winds,、uh, your local government will send you a message on your phone, whether through a text message or、um, a call. Uh, letting you know, you know that there's possible danger ahead. On top of that, too, it's really important for Californians to make a family emergency plan and have those conversations with loved ones to ensure that number one, you know where you would evacuate to if you needed to leave your house quickly.、Uh, that you would understand、uh, that. Not everyone is going to be in the house together. Some people may be at school or at work, and so where are all of you going to meet in case of an emergency? And being able to talk about what are the important items,、um, so that you just grab those things if you need to leave your house quickly. 来自国家气象局西部地区总部的气象学家 Bianca Felkercher 向与会人员深入探讨了声音现象对天气模式和生态系统的多方面影响。Well, when you have El Nino, those warmer waters create a lot more storms than usual in the Pacific, and those storms actually have the power to send air and moisture up into the atmosphere, changing the location of the jet stream and sending this moisture all around the world. So, when you change the position of the jet stream, you change where the moisture and thus where the storms are going, and also where the warmer and cooler temperatures go as well. And in El Nino case, the jet stream is being pulled further south, which is why you see the correlation between an El Nino winter and above-average precipitation and temperatures in the southern U.S. 因此，需要密切关注进一步的气象更新和预警信息。加州居民和相关机构应保持警惕，制定应对措施，以确保在潜在的气象波动中最大限度地减轻可能的影响。